Leo, you're here. Great. You're going to take care of the filming today, okay? Ne t'en fais pas, Léo. Ce sont les enseignants qui vont poser les questions aux élèves. Quel est votre plus beau souvenir d'école? Le meilleur souvenir à Erciga était le ski tube en son camp d'arcade. Definitely traveling to North Carolina with my friends and competing in the moot court competition. Uh, my favorite memory is... My favorite memory of Fruits Leader was coming to second grade and meeting all my new friends. The second grade ski trip, I made so many amazing memories and it was just super fun. When I marked 36 points during the game of basketball. Oh hey guys! Si vous pouvez échanger votre vie avec une personne pendant une journée, qui serait-ce? It would be my favorite teacher, Mr. Yudetsky, because he is one of a kind. I would definitely be Dylan. Hmm. I would be Jeremy. Leo, who would you be? Bruce Lee pour avoir les compétences et le pouvoir d'un artiste martial. Hailey Bieber parce qu'elle est mariée avec Justin Bieber. Je changerai avec n'importe quel personnage de dessin animé parce que j'aimerais vivre en deux dimensions. Je serai 100% Benjamin Amzalal. Je choisirai d'être moi-même dans 20 ans. Quel super pouvoir aurez-vous et pourquoi Si je pouvais avoir un super pouvoir, ça serait la capacité de contrôler les quatre éléments car rien ne serait impossible. If I had a superpower, I'd turn into Dylan Mazzucchi. Actually, never mind. <laughs> I don't know if it would be inv to be invisible or to fly. Yeah, I'd probably fly since I'm like always late to everything. I'd probably get from place to place quicker. I suppose it would. Jemai at MVZ. Pour moi, ce serait de voler parce que c'est probablement beaucoup de plaisir et j'aime le ciel. Merci. Je choisirais d'être invisible parce que je peux aller n'importe où. If I can have a superpower, I would choose the ability to slow down time. Who is your style icon? My style icon is Emma. Well, my style icon is Becca. C'est Alan Summer parce que j'adore ses shorts, je les porte pratiquement tous les jours. Ce serait Sweet Brooks ou Kendall Jenner parce que j'aime bien leur style euh, vestimentaire. Mon icône de style est Sweet Brooks parce que son style est très original. Si votre vie était une chanson, quel en serait le titre uh, Famous par Kanye West parce que je n'aime pas Taylor Swift. This is why we can't have nice things de Taylor Swift. Le titre de la chanson de ma vie serait I'm Not Afraid par Eminem. I would say Young Dumb and Broke. Young Dumb Broke High School Kids. Thank you. How would your friends describe you? Well, they would describe me as sarcastic, humble, hilarious, stunning, sexy, the best person. Mes enseignants me décrivent comme quelqu'un de gentil, mais je suis timide devant la caméra. Well, my friends describe me as funny and outgoing. Impressionnante, drôle et extrêmement belle. Ah, uh, peut-être gentil, drôle et uh, français. I think my friends would describe me as really shy in school, but extremely talkative when I'm with them. You're not really talkative, are you, Leo? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Je ne sais pas, mais j'espère que je serai heureux. Et toi? Et voilà. Dans 10 ans, j'espère être le meilleur pharmacien de Montréal. Léo, tes chaussures ne sont pas attachées. Dans 10 ans, je me vois avoir accompli mes rêves dans, le, dans les domaines de la science et de la santé. Living outside of Montreal, hoping to make the world a little bit better and successful. In 10 years, I'm hoping to see myself give back to my family for everything they did for me. Et actuellement, qu'est-ce qui vous enthousiasme le plus 
J'ai hâte à venir à la réunion de Artelia en, en 10 ans et voir tous mes camarades de classe. Probablement que cette pandémie termine. Um, I'm really excited to not wear skirts. I hate shaving my legs. Euh, je pense de graduer et euh, de grandir et d'avancer dans la vie. After 11 years of being in the system, I'm very excited to be in a new building. I'm excited to have a big fun prom after I graduate. Quelle était votre collation préférée de l'ancienne cafétéria et celle de la nouvelle cafétéria? Alors avant j'adorais les cookies et maintenant je crois que j'adore les brownies. Oui, au ta faim? Tiens. <laughs> Um, I really like the calf cookies. How about you? And um, from the new one, I really like the fries. What was your favorite activity in high school? And what do you regret not doing? I personally loved my time as a member of the hockey team, but I kind of regret not being able to play with them one last time. J'ai aimé les chabatons et je n'ai rien regretté. My favorite activity in high school was being on the SAC 1 hockey team and winning the championship with the boys. And truthfully, I don't regret anything because Hertzli is the best. Si vous pouviez visiter un seul endroit dans le monde, ce serait où? Um, I'd love to go to Finland. It's uh, a beautiful country and I've always wanted to go there. If I could go one place in the world, I would go to Morocco. So I could see where my family originally came from before moving to Canada. Je visiterai la ville d'Athènes puisque je suis fasciné par la culture et l'architecture. I would go to Austria to visit the Alps. Si je devais manger un seul repas pour le reste de ma vie, je mangerais le saumon que ma mère fait pour Shabbat. So for me it would be sushi because it's the best tasting food out there. I would eat steak for the rest of my life because it's the juiciest meat. Un sandwich au poulet parce que c'est simple. Je choisirais la crème glacée puisqu'elle a un montant infini de saveur. Um, la chose dont je suis la plus fière est de graduer après avoir mis beaucoup d'efforts dans mes études. I'm proud of winning a prize at science fair. Uh, c'est d'être plus ouverte avec mes camarades de classe. Probably bringing flowers on behalf of the school to a Holocaust survivor. If you could go back in time, what advice would you give to your grade 7 self? Moi, je vais donner comme conseil d'investir dans la bourse et dans le cryptocurrency. I would tell myself to just have fun and not distress because time flies by and so make the most of it. I would tell myself to just believe myself, have confidence, get involved as much as you can in school and just to stop taking everything so seriously. I would tell my grade 7 self to not stress out as much and live in the present and try and enjoy my high school years. Um, I would say to not focus on the future and to just focus on what's happening around you right now. Um, are you handing me the camera? Okay. What is the best piece of advice you've ever received? People aren't paying as much attention to you as you are. Um, throughout my lifetime, my grandmother always told me that things will come, things will pass, uh, they, they evolve, they evolve. Um, so we shouldn't stress, about, stress out about the little things. The best piece of advice is that balance is key. The best piece of advice that I've ever received is take advantage of your youth and make the best out of every situation. Alors le meilleur conseil que j'ai reçu dans ma vie, c'est de mes parents qui m'ont dit de toujours suivre mon intuition et de penser avant de parler. I think the best piece of advice I've ever received is to try and find the fun and positivity in whatever I'm doing. Félicitations à tous nos diplômés. Congratulations. Thank you, Leo. Bye. The bus is leaving in five minutes.